Hey, I'm Carson from Team Gremlin, and this is an explanation video of our Mall of America robot. So we'll start with the drivetrain. Uh, we chose a six motor drivetrain on 360 RPM. It's using eight wheels for all the reasons that Ben five from 515 Mars says in his World's Robot explanation video. But in all seriousness, it's really mostly to get over the barrier as clean as possible. When you're using six wheels, you have a lot of problems, and we can see that from a lot of the other Mall robots. But with us, we can pretty much clear pretty easily without falling that much into the barrier and it's pretty smooth. We also use these C channels down here. There's a C channel between the front and the second wheel and that helps us not jump around as much. And then there's also this half cut here. This is both for the reason of not falling into the gears, but it's also for the reason of resting on when we hang and I'll show that later. But that's basically our drivetrain. It's pretty simple. We have the six motors stacked up back here mainly because we have a lot of front weight and we also wanted to make space for the intakes and for the towers on the front. So not uh, mounting it to this 36 tooth gear in here was better for that. We run one central cross brace that pretty much makes the robot pretty strong enough. Uh, we do have a three wheel drive gap. That means that we did have to shave off some of the gears inside, but for the most part, it's pretty frictionless. Everything runs at about one watt, which is pretty good. good plenty good enough for our drivetrain. I can also show where our electronics are. So we have our tank. We only run one tank because we don't use that much on air. And then we also have the brain. The brain is ran right in the bottom of the robot. It doesn't hit the barrier while we go over. And ultimately it was the best and lowest place to put the brain, which gives us really good center of gravity. We can tip the robot all the way back before it can actually turn uh, backwards still right about now or right about here is when it'll tip backwards so we had really good center of gravity way less trouble tipping over we did tip over in one latch but it was only because we got hit while we were going over the barrier so we couldn't really do much about that so next we'll go over the intakes so with the intakes they're hinged they run on an, on a piston we only use the piston during autons and during the start of the match so that it starts in size it has light banding that way it can come down quickly after auton because sometimes the piston will delay it coming down, so we had to add the band. And interesting about our intakes is that um, we don't really use that much in terms of a ramp. We actually run kind of a, a counterintuitive ramp because it's basically just a bar in there. And so essentially, when we drive over to the goal, we outtake the acorn so that it falls out, and then we push into the goal. That naturally lifts up the hinged intake and then you can see it kind of just shoves it in there. So we run that bar right here and it's all boxed through. That way it shoves very nicely into the goal. We have the motor mounted up top instead of on the side. On the side is really exposed and we didn't want to have any trouble getting hit and having the motor fall off or anything like that. It's running two to one. Oh yeah, it's two times speed. It's like 1200 RPM. The only reason for that was so that we could move things easier and intake faster but it doesn't really make that much of a difference then for our slapper this is probably one of the highlight pieces of our robot it is probably one of the fastest shooters at mall uh, we run a 36 tooth slip gear direct to the 100 rpm motor to an 84 tooth gear and that 84 tooth gear is screwed to this slapper mechanism we have a platform on top so it just shoots very nicely when we want to go over and that helps us shoot really fast it helps us load really fast because we just have to set the acorns onto the platform I think that we ran the slapper at about 85% speed to shoot over in like 30-ish seconds, which was pretty good for 45 acorns. And then, um, like I said, the slapper motor is right there. And so everything is very lowly mounted and that's really good. It helps a lot with our center of gravity and everything's super strong. We don't have any problems with anything breaking. And then we have uh, this hang mechanism. So basically this piston pulls back and then the hang falls down. And it's just a simple C-channel on a steel hinge. The steel hinge is super important so it doesn't bend. And then we come over here to the barrier and our sleds allow us to go up the barrier. It's kind of hard to do without driving the robot, but essentially it goes up the barrier and then we balance just like that. And you can see that it rests on the half cuts. We found that was way better and more consistent than just resting between the wheels. And so that's what we did. That was something we saw in Ace's robot. But then this hook, the screw is kind of just to help it uh, not fall off as easily. Sometimes it actually rests on the screw, but it doesn't really matter either way because we have a lot of tolerance because the robot's very well balanced. And the biggest problem we had with that was making sure the robot didn't jump to the side when we were going up. 
so that we could get up pretty fast, but that's what these C-channels help for. And then we have the wings, obviously. They're mostly just for skills. Uh, for skills, we did band the wings from this standoff right here to this standoff right here, and that was just to help them stay more rigid. Uh, they didn't close very well, though, so we couldn't use those in matches. But yeah, the wings are pretty simple. When they're pistonized, they stay pretty flat. They're about 34 inches wide. Um, that way, we don't run into the sides of the goals when we push from the center. Because one problem we were having when we were coding skills was it kept getting stuck on the edges. And so we kind of shortened them a little bit so it didn't get stuck on the hubs. And this is the scooper. Uh, the scooper we use just for just for pretty much one auton, yeah, scooping. It was for win point, and that was mainly it. We actually set our acorns up like that because that's completely legal. And then we set it down and scooped it out. It's pretty simple. And the piston for that is right here. And then the entire back half of the robot could slide under the goal pretty much. That way we could push more effectively during skills, but other than that, I mean, it's a pretty simple robot. It got us pretty far, third in world skills and design award. And we were also quarterfinals. So ultimately, like, <laughs> pretty happy with the way it worked out. Definitely rebuilding soon. But the Mall of America robot was pretty good. So I'm happy with it. But Connor, do you have anything to add? Uh, these ratchets are useless. Oh, yeah. We run these completely useless slapper ratchets down here because they're on slip gears they don't do anything but yeah so it's a pretty cool robot you should definitely hole count it and <laughs> good luck in good luck in over under